generation. I want to grow our future. I want our voices to be heard. My name is Jeter in Teotihuacan, and I was born in 1898. In my own young age, as soon as they were born, they see their girls, they would squeeze their throat so they couldn't breathe. They would die. Girls were called slaves. Our duty was to serve the boys, and I said to my uncle. Why do we have to serve you? You've got two eyes, I've got two eyes. You've got two arms, I've got two arms. How is it you take a small room, the Chinese painting bar, or this one? Your room is only this long. My room taller than myself, it's not fair. He said, you were born to serve us. I was deprived of education. I put my best will out. I want to learn, I want to read all my life. I want to fight this idea that my uncle, tall big boy, and I was small girl. We must be equal. I'm Angeline Wee, aged 44, mother of two. Mother of three. Mom of two teenage girls. And I have three grown-up children. I play many roles. I'm an orthopedic and hand surgeon. I'm also a wife, a mother and a grandmother. And I work full-time in my career. I've been in Asia for 25 years, Hong Kong to Singapore since 1991. And I've been in Singapore for the last 15 years. For more than 22 years. And we are lucky to be living in Singapore. I think Singapore women today have made great advances. Very smart, smart people. Dynamic, amazing, uh, powerful. Very capable, very independent. Very much more aware of what they have, what they can have, and what they want to have. They have the freedom, which in the 60s and 70s, we didn't have the same. We have actually a very good government that provides, for example, like even the women charter. Things like you know, the legal rights, um, education, access to healthcare, the basic elements of women in Singapore have already been taken care of. The progress that women have made in the last hundred years has been absolutely phenomenal. After I graduated in the early 70s, you can say that not many women were in the university. But today, you can see that uh, women are at least represent half or even more than half in some of the faculty. In terms of access to education, I think we have probably one of the best access here. Uh, there's nothing that sort of uh, would stand in the way, uh, not even finances, you know, and it's strictly based on meritocracy. So women today really have a lot of choices and today they have a lot more opportunity. We have been taking up more and more challenging positions in schools, in businesses, in corporates and, and our, even our politics. In the 70s, the female workers only earn about $3 or 3 something a day. We try to move them to the money pay and we get about $150. That was a, a groundbreaking for us. I believe women will definitely add a lot of creativity and humanity 
into the Singapore business scene. Singapore Women has contributed a lot to the productivity of the Singapore economy. But the reality of the situation is that the hiring person and the person who decides promotion most of the time will be men. In terms of seniority or management, the women fall out. There are only 5.5% of women at board director levels. The mindset of society must change, must support the woman. They must help the woman to excel. Women's aspirations and hopes and dreams in our society today have changed tremendously. So the men must also change their own expectations. SCWO was founded in 1980 and at that time we were a federation of 14 organisations. We are now 51, so our representation of women in Singapore has really increased tremendously. As the National Coordinating Council, what we do with our members is to inform them of issues. We also represent them and their views on an ASEAN and international level. We also represent Singapore in APEC through the Women Leaders Network. Being president of the SEWO is a great honour, it's a privilege and it comes with a lot of responsibilities. I think that we have to understand that whoever you are, you only have 24 hours in a day and you make your choices. I've often been asked, can women have it all? I think with all the multiple roles that we play, yes we can have it all, but the it depends on uh, how we define. It is not always easy but I think it can be done. If you have the ability to believe in yourself, it is a toss between family and work. Today, they need to struggle to think very carefully. I do understand because they want certain standard of living and they also want to be financial independence. So now we need to think about what is the basic thing in life. Okay, what can wait and what cannot wait? I think to give birth cannot wait or to marry cannot wait. The most uh, uh, joyous time in my life is not so much about promotion or get a higher pay. Actually, when I give birth to my first child. Raising the family is, an act, is, a, is, is a responsibility that cannot be outsourced. The woman is the first educator in a family. By far, it is the most stressful, most responsible job in the world. They will need more help from the community in order for them to have a better work-life balance. So what we serve to do is to be educators, motivators and inspirers. We hope to be able to mentor young women um, by providing good role models to show these young people that they can also do the same, to actually grow up into a good person so that they can contribute to the society at large. Women sometimes uh, shortchange ourselves a great deal. We seem to think that we can do less than what we really have the potential for. I challenge the ladies to take risks and to be the agents of change. To empower themselves and not to see themselves as victims. To really maintain their independence and be able to really take care of themselves. To be less demanding and less materialistic. Be more aware about other people around. To fight for what they really want to have. If you are willing to work hard, the opportunities are there. So I think ultimately, ultimately, what the goal is, is to lead a balanced life where you can be happy, you can be confident, and you can be treated equally and respect others and respect yourself. Women hold up half the sky. I think they deserve to reap half the rewards. When you educate a woman, you educate a family. We come together as women for women. Let us be heard. We must dare to dream. Dream and go for it. Believe in yourself. Be happy. Look towards the future. Tomorrow is in our hands. We are 100. 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 100. We are 100. 100. 100. We are 100. We are 100. Happily forever.